This weekend, enjoy a guided bog walk, a magical history tour, and a host of events dedicated to Mother's Day. I'm Shannon Bryan from FitMaine.com, and I'm hanging out here on this supremely scenic spot on the coast of Brunswick, essentially watching the fog roll out and the weekend roll in. There's a host of fun, active things to do in Maine this weekend, and we will talk about those in just a second. But first, I caught up with Kirsten Beverly Waters, who's a local fitness coach and yoga instructor, to talk about a really cool online fitness studio that she's launching on May 14th. Here's more on that. I'm here with Kirsten from Thrive, and as a coach, you're dedicated to helping people get fit and get active. And coming up later this month, you've got a really cool program that you're launching, the Thrive Fit Studio. Uh, where people can work out at home, and it sounds fantastic. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, so ThriveFit Studio is an online digital platform. Unlike the traditional just fitness classes you can take online, there are plenty of those, we're trying to bring an educational component to this particular platform. So not only can you take live fitness classes, boot camp, HIIT, yoga, and fusion classes, but you can also enroll in classes like our ThriveFit um, Blueprint. And that is really like a Kickstarter for getting into fitness for brand new people who are looking for goal setting, nutrition, and just basic workout advice. And then we also have the Time Crunch Sweat Sessions, which is super exciting there. So for Time Crunch Sweat Sessions, it's for the busy working mom or dad, definitely could be a working dad, not excluding the dudes. So busy working people, 10 to 15 minute videos to help you get a sweat on in small spaces. So whether you're traveling or you just have limited space at home and you have no equipment, this is the perfect way to do it. So 10 to 15 minutes, get your sweat on. Sweat potential is unlimited. <laughs> and then again, we have the live classes that are archived and you can come back to that you can do right at home requiring no equipment. So it really fits everybody. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. And you also have some programming that will be coming out in June, in addition to the Time Crunch Sweat Sessions, that will help people like me be able to do a pull-up. Yes, so we're starting the Zero to Pull-Up series. And it starts for anyone who has literally no pull-up in, in their arsenal. Um, me. Which we've all started with. I was there too. Um, so it gives you all the different training pieces that you're going to need to help you get your first pull-up and then many more after that. So we'll have the zero to pull-up and then I'm also really excited about the women's strength program. So it focuses specifically on women and being able to navigate lifting. And that doesn't have to be barbell, that can be dumbbells and kettlebells, but really how can we empower ourselves using strength movement? So we have that and then also a really cool one is Camp Asana. So for our, all of our outdoor enthusiasts, how to use their backpack equipment and hammocks for a restorative yoga practice. So it's quick, quick sequences to help make the body feel better so that you can hike longer, which I know you're a big fan of hiking. I'm a big fan of hiking and outdoor activities, so doing yoga outside, big fan over here. And so <laughs> ThriveFit Studio launches mid-May. Yeah, so we launch, we're gonna actually do a two-week trial period starting on May 14th. So we'll start May 14th, the live classes will be free to everyone for two weeks, and then we'll actually start the process. So you get a chance to try it and experience it before you commit to it. And it's only $20 a month, so the commitment itself is very you know, cheap. Um, I've certainly spent more than that at gym memberships that I never use. So <laughs> something you can do at home, get fit, work out, get stronger, even maybe get to a pull-up, which is a personal goal of mine. Yeah. Um, all of it sounds super awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, more information can be found on Kirsten's website, youthrive.com. Um, and of course, I'll have a little write-up on fitmain.com as well. Now again, the Thrive Fit Studio officially launches on May 14th, and the first two weeks are free. So why not pop in, try it out, and see what it's all about. Now, about that weekend. If you're around Friday morning, how about a guided bog walk at Hidden Valley Nature Center in Jefferson? The walk takes place from 10 a.m. to noon, and all levels are welcome for this easy-going walk. It's just 10 minutes each way, and you'll get to meander out on the 220-foot boardwalk that extends right out into the heart of the wetlands. You're sure to see some wildlife, spot some birds perhaps, and this walk is open to all levels, and they're just asking for a $5 donation. Now, if you find yourself in the woods every now and again, and you don't yet know how to use a map and compass, well, there's a great all-day workshop happening this weekend in Unity. North Star Adventures is hosting this workshop from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday, and you'll learn how to read and understand a map, how to properly use a compass, and how to use those two tools together so you can navigate yourself safely when you're in the woods. And just as importantly, how to get yourself back to a safe place should you get lost. Any of you ever been lost in the woods? Guilty. Cost of the workshop is $40, but having these skills, well, priceless. Now, if you like exploring hidden and secret nooks and crannies of a city that most people never get to see or even know exist, 
There's an event happening on Saturday that I think is going to pique your interest. It's the Magical History Tour put on by Maine Historical Society, and I love this event because it gives locals a chance to walk around the city and get inside secret spaces that the public usually doesn't have access to. Now, the Maine Historical Society has been putting on this event for a few years now, and it's always a blast, and the locations change every year. You'll find those locations out when you check in on Saturday and get your map, and you will take yourself on a self-guided tour, popping in at all the locations you want to see. It's a great chance to walk, see some hidden spaces, and, I don't know, get to know Portland's history a little bit better. And of course, it's Mother's Day, so shout out to all the moms out there, including my awesome mom, Judy. That's Judy with an I, thank you very much. There are a host of Mother's Day inspired events happening this weekend, including, of course, the annual Mother's Day 5K, which takes place in Portland, just outside of Hadlock Field. Slugger and his mom will lead the charge they do every year, and you can come out and walk around this 5K. My favorite part is always the finish line, which is inside the stadium of Hadlock Field. You get to feel like a champion crossing the finish line, no matter how maybe slow you run. I'm more of a run walker who mostly walks. There's also a Mothers on the Water canoe trip happening in Old Town on Sunday. The women's only guided canoe trip takes place at Hirondo Wildlife Refuge in Old Town. The guided canoe trip costs 10 bucks, so bring all the ladies in the family. Additional information on those events and more can be found on fitmain.com. Be sure to follow Fitmain on Facebook and Instagram to find out about more cool ways to work out and active things to do. Now remember, it's the weekend, so let's go do fun stuff that also happens to be good for our bods and hopefully not get lost in the main woods in the process. Am I right? Watching the fog roll out and the weekend roll in. Thank you.